Welcome to another edition of the Almost Perfect Parlor, where cows, equipment, and people meet. Here's your host, dairy coach Tom Wall. There's really just one reason we need to apply pre-dip, and that's to disinfect each teat completely. Whether you use a dipper, a sprayer, or a foamer to apply pre-dip, the objective remains the same, to kill the live bacteria that are on the cow's teats. So how do you make sure you kill all the bacteria on every teat? The two things to remember are teat coverage and contact time. The first thing you need to do is make sure you completely cover each teat with pre-dip. Many times, milkers are in a hurry and just sort of throw or splash the pre-dip on. You can probably imagine that if you don't cover the teat completely, live bacteria will remain on the part where you didn't apply dip. Unfortunately, when this happens, you tend to miss the backside of the teat. And since that's the part you can't see, you probably don't even realize that you missed it. And the same concept applies if the dairy you work at uses a sprayer to apply dip. It's really easy to miss the entire backside of teats if you don't hold the sprayer directly under the udder while you're spraying. Although you'll probably always be in a hurry, the idea is to squeeze the bottom part of the dipper so that the top part is full when you're applying dip. And no, doing it correctly shouldn't take any extra time. You're still moving your arm from one teat to the next. The only difference is that now your hand is squeezing the bottom part of the dipper to make sure the top part is always full. The other important detail about pre-dipping is contact time. This is a time that pre-dip stays on each teat. And how much time do you think pre-dip needs to be on each teat to kill all the bacteria? Most teat dips need 30 seconds to kill the bacteria. 